What's going on, guys? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's get into this word. Um, today, I want to be talking about the signs of the times and the signs that, you know, this generation will, you know, a lot of people fail to see. Because, you know, people are walking, walking in blindness and people are not, you know, seeking the Lord's face. So, of course, they're not going to be minding those things as in Christ. And um, so, a lot, a lot of people are going to be blind. To, to what's you know spiritually obvious, and uh, of course, those that walk in the spirit will mind those things of the spirit, and those that are um, of the flesh are going to mind those things of the flesh. And um, you know, many times where people have eyes but they will not perceive, they will have ears but not hear, and they will have fat hearts. And um, that's what's going on in the, in the, the, the evils of this world, the evils that's working through men and women, like people who are being taken by wicked, they're being used to keep us blind and keeping people from the truth. So they want us to keep, you know, worrying about things that don't, don't really matter in the long run. doesn't matter in the long run, you know, such as, you know, um, trying to have a lot of women. Or even, you know, put in, even as much as putting marriage over God. You know, um, we don't want to put anything above God. It's going to be, and the evidence is going to be in the pudding. It's going gonna, it's gonna, um, to manifest. And, you know, the Lord said not to put your trust and chariots, and not to put your trust in horses, and not to put your trust in man. He said, curse is he who puts his trust in man. So, you know, and then at that, uh, it's another scripture. He said uh, he would shake the heavens. He would not only shake the heavens, but he would also shake the earth. But uh, but those things that are of the kingdom will remain. So anything, you know, that's of the kingdom will remain. So don't put your trust in, you know, whatever you think that's going to, you know, keep you sane, keep you at peace keep you, you know, strong, strengthened, because it'll be shaking. If it's not Christ, and if it doesn't, um, you know, involve Christ, it's going to be shaking, even even a relationship, even a relationship. So even marriages, it will be shaking in these last days. So um, with that being said, we're going to go to the book of Corinthians. Go to the book of Corinthians. All right. So let's go to Corinthians, guys. Um, chapter 15, verse 51. All right. And this is about, you know, it says it's at the top. It says the, right, the risen Christ, Jesus Christ, right? And it says the last enemy destroyed. The last enemy is Satan, of course. So the last enemy will be destroyed. Jesus Christ is going to rise before us. He's going to destroy the enemy on our behalf. You know, of course, say this, you know, he's ravishing the city. Not ravishing the city, but he's ravishing the world as much as he can. He's trying to pour down as many as he can. And he's getting desperately wicked. So, you know, God is, is grieving God of what's going on. Because a lot of people are falling um, at an alarming rate. And um, we want to spread the word as much as possible in these last days. Because, you know, it's going to save people's life and soul. You know, even as, even your own family members. You know, a lot of our family members aren't, aren't living to the standard that Christ needs them to live. And um, you, have, you have people still caught up in you know, you know, the rap era or music, that whole, yeah, I'm gonna call it the yo, uh, yo moment, uh, yeah, yo, yo years. Cause, you, know, <laughs> you know, literally, cause, you know, it's that crowd that you know, the people said, um, you know, when you dap somebody up, they be like, man, how you been, what you been up to, you know, man, let me get, get into the bag. Man, any way, anyhow, any way I can, I'm, 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 that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it how I live. So people are still caught up in that, you know, that vain, that vain imaginations of how you slave, you've really been a slave to money. And you allow Satan to, you know, make you, like, operate in the spirit of mammon to greed, greed in the lust of money and being demonized by that demon. You know, you already have enough people that's demonized by the spirit, uh, by power. You know, people that's like King Nebuchadnezzar's, Hammond's, Heroes, and the Bible, you know, all these people, they try to conspire, force people to worship them, and even try to exterminate uh, the children of God. So, you know, in the last days, you want to be able to be strong in the Lord. You don't want you don't want fear to be, you know, your number one issue at all, at all. And um, you got to conquer fear. The Lord always said he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love. In the same mind. love and boldness in the same mind. So love, when you operate in love, fear can't, fear won't be not be able to dwell in your in your tabernacle. 
You know, that's you know, in these last days, saying it's a spirit. At the at the end of the day, it's a spirit. And in these last days, wicked men and women will try to cleave, you know cause the spirit to cleave onto people, to cause them to you know, be shaken. So one thing people can put put spells on you that cause you to be in fear. So you know that's why the Lord already said Matthew 18, 18, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. So you know you gotta bind. We already said the weapons of warfare are not calling them, but mighty through God. Cast down imagination and everything that um, exalts so the knowledge of God and bringing every thought to the captivity to the ob obedience of Christ. And being able to revenge all disobedience because, you know, Satan is trying to bombard everyone's mind in these last days. And that's why you have so many people on prescription pills, which is another form of sorcery, which bewitches them, which opens them up for more spiritual possession and, you know, to basically take, you know, take over their soul. You know, um, it's really it's called pharmacia. If you see the medical sign, what do you what do you see on there? You see the serpent. You see the serpent wrapping it around the serpent around the pole. And this is the emblem in front of um, hospitals or ambulance truck. So that's just to let you know Satan is on everything. He touches everything he can. He infiltrates every every system. But just know for sure, the Lord will replenish and change. It's going to be a divine change, a divine shift, divine overturns, divine uplifts. A divine diadem, a, di a, a divine paradigm shift. Everything that we see that's not right, the Lord will change it because what's going on, you know, it's too much. It's being, everything that we look at is okay, it's not okay. Everything we look at out here, they be like, man, this is the way, this is how I'm gonna get better. This is gonna help me. This is gonna cure me. This is gonna fix my brain. But really, you know, destroying, they get, Satan is giving you the antidote, the medicine, the tool, the money, the, whatever it is to destroy you, to kill you, you know. Um, so people are being bewitched. You know, sorcery is in medicine, you know. If you, sorcery is a form of potions. What do you think medicine is? It's a bunch of potions they put together. You know, just like witches do. Witches in, in their privy places in their, in their or covens, and they put all these chemicals together. You know, and that's what they give it to people. Have them acting all, you know, a way that they, the God didn't intend for them. And sadly, it's gonna be about a lot of children of God that's, you know, that are being affected by this. A lot of church women, a lot of church men, but you know, they've been deceived and bewitched to think that this is the way. So we had to spread this to the people. You know, as far as, um, you know, this is me. This is my, my, my testimony. So you know, for we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by God's testimony. We overcome by the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the word of our testimony. So remember, Blood of Jesus Christ. That's how they overcame Satan. Through Revelation 12. He was kicked and he was cast out of um out of heaven, him and his angels. And the Archangel Michael defeated him by himself. So um I overcome anxiety. I overcame I'm not on anxiety prescriptions anymore. I'm not on depression, depression um prescriptions anymore. I'm not on um what's the word? yeah, oh PTSD. You know, I went through a lot of family loss. I went through a lot of unnecessary death for life situations because of just being too nice to people and allowing myself to, you know, to be gullible and put myself around people who were really who are really tools of the devil. And I didn't know it, you know. So this is what the enemy would do. I wouldn't say tools of the devil, but I'm gonna just say those who are manipulated to, you know, carry out wicked assignments. So you gotta you gotta we gotta be careful. This bird come over here and speak. This damn on bird come over here. Okay, I soon as said, speak of this word, dead on bird. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. Let's go, let's read. Verse 51. You know, it says this. Behold. It said, Behold. You know, let's go to, um, let's go to 49. Um, so said uh, and we have born said uh, as as in the earthly such are they also that are earthy and as is the heavenly heavenly um such are as they also that are heavenly that is we have born the image of the earthy we shall also bear the image of the heavenly so we shall bear you know we shall embody it we shall transform. Right now, we just normal. We, we we break down. Our skin decays. 
um, we get sick, we um, we get weak, we sleep, so um, we get tired, we get worried, we get faint, we feel depression, we feel anxiety, fear, anger, all these all these negative things, right? But it says we are born in the image of the earth, we shall also be the image of the heavenly. Now this our, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You know, flesh. This will not inherit God. The spirit, the spirit within us will inherit. Remember, we just this is just a shell. But everything you see is just the vehicle of what's inside of us. So um, it says um, now this day, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. So you know, right now we're corrupt. We can be our skin is corrupt, our life is corrupt, our mind can be corrupt. Any or can, anything pretty much can be corrupt. But it will become you know a time when God comes His glory. We should turn you know we should inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised uncorruptible, and we shall be changed to the dead. You know, those that are spiritually dead, they do they walk around. You know, they wake up each and every day, they go to work, but you have people that they're spiritually dead. So, you know, they will even be changed. They will turn from, you know, being dead to, you know, resurrected. So behold us, you are mercy, we shall not all sleep, we shall be all be changed. At a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised uncorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So, immortality. Immortal. So it says, so when this incorruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, Death is swallowed up in the victory. So the enemy is, is Satan, he's death. So it will, you know, Jesus will swallow it up. We will swallow it up, you know, when God comes, when his glory comes, when he comes, right? Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of his sin is the law. So, of course, what does that mean? Say he wants you to basically hang yourself your own rope and hang yourself by, you know, living a life of sin. None of us don't, none of us are not sinless, but you live in a life of sin. That means you're transgressing against the Lord. But it says, but, but thanks be to God, which gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we have victory through the blood, through the redemptive blood. Um, according to Galatians 6, he's redeemed for the curse of the law. And um, bless, you know, we can't be cursed. So same one, he's going around trying to curse as much as people as he can, whether you know it or not. So, you know, he's redeemed us for the curse of the law because, you know, the first covenant, we were subjected under under that law. We, we couldn't, you know, basically fulfill the law. We couldn't go sinless. Moses tried to do it. All of them tried to do it. Adam and Eve, they all tried to do it. Even if they did do it, they still stumbled somewhere. Because there's always another way for you to, you know, you know, basically like mess up. So Paul, I mean Moses, he messed up because he, uh, he got angry. He didn't get to make it to the promised land. He got angry. He was supposed to walk into the land of full of milk and honey with the children of Israel, but he got he had anger problems, so he didn't make it. And then um, you know, yes, he had basically hell and angels. He had demons and angels fighting over his body, but he was transcending into the heaven. So Satan really wanted to take him, you know, take him to hell, but you know. I think our angel Michael intervened, or Gabriel, they didn't allow, you know, Satan to you know, drag him back down. So, um, let's go on, let's continue. So, therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So, our labor is not in vain. Everything, every service you're doing for the Lord is not in vain. Everything you're doing. You know, sometimes we think, we, the thing, look, I'm going to say it like this. When we going through stuff, it doesn't make sense. We like, man, I'm doing the work of the Lord. Why am I going through turmoil? Why am I going through pain? Why am I going through rejection? Why am I going through, you know, I'm being singled out. It's crazy. Why am I being ostracized? Why am I being slandered? Am I? Just know, that's everything. All those things I said, Jesus went through it all. He was doing the work of God. So, you know, we can't be deceived. You know, Satan is a liar. He wants to deceive us. That's all he wants to do. He wants to manipulate us and to live in misconceptions. He wants to you want to manipulate your, your, your perception. So just know, if you're doing the will of God, you're going to go through things. Because <laughs> he hates it. He hates it. It's going to try to trouble break you. It's going to try to make you basically walk away from God. You try do problems. It's going to try to, you know, use people against you that you love to make you be like, man, 
I don't believe none, none of, nothing that's coming from this word, from this book. So um, don't fall for it. So remain steadfast. So that's it. Therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. So we we declare and declare over you that you are you will stay steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. In Jesus' name, for I, for I labor for our labor is not in vain. So for the, we ask you as as as, as uh, whoever's watching this, we pray this and as in uh, together for you to for you to say where two or three or more gather in agreement. You are in the midst. So we Father God, we ask that you give your children a step, you know, the spirit of steadfastness and make us unmovable that always abounding in the work of the Lord. In home of the Lord, every household, in the body of Christ, wherever your children are, in Jesus' name. Father God, may you make us steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Father God, may you bless our family, our loved ones, and even our leaders to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians from chapter four. Thirteen and fifteen. It says this. Let's go to fourteen. It says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, he will so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with them. So you know, remember sleep, you can be sleep, that means you you know, basically not awake. You still, you know, sleep spiritually. You know, God will awake, he will, you know, basically resurrect. The people that are asleep. <clears throat> so, so for this, it says, for this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. So we remain alive unto the coming of the Lord. So we uh, we're spiritually alive because we're dead to the flesh. We don't listen to the flesh. We're not under bondage anymore. So the Lord said not to me. He said no longer be yoked again into the. He said no no longer go back into the um, yoke of bondage. When He delivers you from something. Don't go back to what he's delivered you from. Because when you go back, their bondage will be worse than the last. Remember, this is, the scripture said, uh, when the spirit is cast out of a man, right? That spirit goes back, it goes into, you know, a dry place looking for rest. Then it comes back and sees their home garnered, swept. And then he goes back and, you know, gathers seven more spirits, wicked, more wicked than himself. Then he goes back into that person and he enters that same person that was cast out of him and then that man is worse that state in that prison is worse than before so you know don't go back if he's delivered you from drugs if, he, if he's delivered you from sexual or morality or pornography or masturbation don't go back don't be yoked again into the yoke of bondage don't be entangled because you will be worse that's why a lot of people have became murderers and rapists because they went back to their own yoke of bondage remember that um, so that's one of the things he um, you know he revealed to me so Let's continue, amen. Said, um, said, for the Lord Himself shall, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall be first. So remember, the Lord shall descend out of heaven with a trump, that, you know, with the voice of the archangel, and and, the, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall be first. So we're dead, in, the, you are dead in people that's dead in Christ. Dead in Christ, I mean, you know, we're dead to the world, we're dead to the flesh, but we're in Christ. You know, the dead that is, you know, basically, you know, people that are really like, you know, living for the world, living for the world, and people that's in the grave, they will be to arise, they will rise with the um, Lord first. Then we will be caught up with the Lord. So then, which we are alive, remain, shall be caught up together, we shall all be caught up together in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So we should be comforted when we hear these words. It's good. Let's read. Let's read chapter five. Just for two talk, for a token, like two scriptures, three scriptures. I said, but but at the times and the season, brother, ye have no need that I write unto you. Ouch. So for yourselves, know perfectly the day of the Lord. So come as a thief in the night. So when you know, if you know, you know when a thief right. If you know you got a thief around, what do you do? You stay up. You you don't go to sleep. When you know you around a person that steals. Because you know if you go to sleep, when around a person, what what's gonna happen? You might steal from you. You might steal something like your money, your wallet, whatever it may be. So the, the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the, in the night. Uh, for one day shall say peace, peace and safety, and then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. So, you know, when the, when the Lord comes as a thief, 
destruction shall come and you could catch you off guard. Um, you know, you'll be like a woman that's veil with child, that they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness. So we're not in darkness. We we're we we're, we're um you know, we're conspiracy conscious at the times and we're not we're conscious not to go back to the open bonds, not to go back to what God has delivered us, whether it's smoking weed, um, pornography, whatever it may be. Or selling drugs. And you are and even the greed of money. They said, uh, ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the light, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others. So we we're not sleeping. We're we are, you are awake, and then said um says this for they for they that sleep in the sleep of the night. And they that be drunk and are drunk in the night. So you have people that sleep in the night. We don't sleep in the night. And they that be drunk are drunk in the night. So, but let us who are of the day be sober. Remember, First Peter five eight said to be so be um sorry be so the wind blowing. Said to be sober, be vigilant because your adversary that was going around seeking who made a vow. And, uh, but you know it's just like being a deer. You're in the jungle, and the you know, the lion you cannot see him. He's crouched down in the grass. Trying to, you know, devour anyone who was, you know, not visiting, who was not, you know, uh, conscious, who was not observant. So you had to watch and be observant. So let us, other day, who are the day, be sober, putting on a breastplate of faith. So we put on, faith is your breastplate. That's your, that is your shield for the attacks of the enemy. And love, love. So love, you know, your love will be as well quench any attack in any dart. So the, um, you know, the enemy is trying to shoot darts at our soul, our mind, our body, our spirit, our health, whatever it may be. Um, so the, so then, and for the helmet, the, home, the helmet of salvation. So you know, the helmet of salvation is you know, to guard your mind. It's going to be cast down imagination. Anything that's been trying to be protected in your mind, if you're thinking the wrong thing, we cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, so, you know, any thoughts of failure, any thoughts of destruction, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Any thoughts of no, destruction or no, failure. We cast it out in the name of Jesus that devil is alive. And he thoughts of death. We cast it out in the name of Jesus that is not your portion. You know, Psalm 18, 17, we decree we declare we shall live and not we shall not die, but live and declare the wonderful words of the Lord. We declare and decree that our family, our lovers, and our friends, and all that that is concerning us, we shall live and not die, but declare the wonderful words of the Lord. In Jesus' name. So it says, God did not appoint us to wrath, but it attains salvation by the, by the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us. Whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. So whether we wake or sleep, we should know that we will live together with the Lord. Wherefore, you have people that are afraid to go to sleep at night because they think they're going to die. Because, you know, they're going through night nightmares, demonic attacks. You know, they're, they're giving space for the enemy to, you know, get into their mind, in their heart. So that's why the Lord said to keep your heart with all diligence because out of it comes the interest of life. So keep your heart with all diligence. Don't you know, let your, all, your heart be filled with fear, anxiety. Uh, hatred, resentment. The Lord said not to let the sun go down in, ang in, in your anger. He said, "Be um, said um, how you say, be angry not when the sun go down. Give no place for the devil. So give no place. Amen. Um, so it is. He, he also said, you can be angry. So be angry, but not sin. So be angry, but do not sin. So do not be enticed to do go back, back and forth with a person that is trying to get you to argue, have curse them out, or even get in a fight." So don't, let's see, let's go. It said, wherefore, come with yourself together and edify one another, even as also you do. So we edify, like I'm speaking this word, we edify. You know, you know, you know, since God is, you know, speaking the word, it's not for me to shut up and keep it in my spirit. The word of God is like fire into my bones. It's like fire shed in my bones. You gotta let it out. The word is like a fire and shit. It says that in um Jeremiah twenty eight. He said, Isn't my word like a fire that break break the rocks and pieces like a hammer? So the word breaks in pieces. The rock. Matthew. Let's go to Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel chapter. And I might split this. I'm going to do two more scriptures. And uh, I want to break it now. I don't, I'm gonna make, I don't want to do all this because, you know, people tend to lose, uh, you know, attention span. You know, the enemy always wants to try to get you not to, you know. To stay connected to the world. If he can get you disconnected from the world, he can get you to walk an arrow. This is how a lot of families have been destroyed. This is how a lot of daughters and sons and parents have been destroyed because of, them, because of someone else's actions. The ignorance that we don't know, the, 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 the actions that we do can affect your family, 
You can open up the door for premature death. You can open up the door for evil people to come into your life and attack you. It's a sin, whatever it may be. So, um, Ezekiel 3, 19, it says this. Um, this is about Ezekiel and rebellious Israel. So, what, this generation is rebellious. So, let's go to 16. No. Mm. So, let's go to 13. You know, we got creatures, right? Angels, the, ch the seraphims, the four faces. These are the beasts, the four beasts that worship God. They have four heads, four faces, sorry. And six wings. And I heard the noise of the wings of the living creatures that have touched one another and the noise of the wheels over against them. And the noise of a great rushing wind, basically. So the spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in the bitterness and the heat of my spirit. But the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Then I came to the captivity of Tel, Tel Abed, that dwelt by the river of Shabar. And I sat where they sat and remained there astonished on Monday of some day. So he was, he was, a, you know, if you see him, an angelic, you know, beast. You know, angels are like beasts. They look like beasts. You'd be astonished as well. And it came to pass at the end of the seven days that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a washroom unto the house of Israel. And therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. But I say unto the wicked, that shall surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to the one of wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require the hand. So, you know, when we don't speak the word, we don't warn people. Or the, uh, the the detriments of you know uh, decisions, they will die in their iniquity because they're not being taught the word, and that's blood on your hands. So we we will pay for it. If we had to. We had to speak the word to people, whether you know you don't want to or not. Even if you're afraid, speak the word because this is a person's soul that's going to lie. So when I say to the wicked, that should surely die, and they'll give us him no warning, no speakers to warn the wicked for the, from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I will cry on your hand. So now, get up there and warn the wicked. If he turn out from his wickedness, no from his wicked way, after you know you should warn him, he shall die in his iniquity, but that has delivered that soul. Um, so again, where the righteous man doesn't turn from his, from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and, then, and I lay a stomach block before him, he shall die because that is not given him warning. So you, a stomach block will be put before even the church if they don't, you know. Sadly, you have a lot of preachers that's not speaking what it need to be spoken on, and the Lord will put a stomach block before them because they're, you know, they're beating around the bush by the word of God. They're speaking the same old, same old that people hear every year. Same type of message, same old type of scenarios. So God is going to hold you people accountable because He know the truth about things. Um, so I said, uh, yeah, um, no, so no, so no, so no. Uh, I will lay a stumbling block before him, and he shall die, because thou has not given him warning. He shall die in his sin. It is righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warned the righteous man that the righteous sin not, that he does not sin, he shall surely, surely live, because he is warned. Also, thou has delivered our soul. So, nevertheless, warn the righteous. Even the righteous can pay. And if they go back into, you know, living unrighteous, the righteous sin not and does not sin, he shall surely live because he's warned also thou has delivered us. So it said, And the hand of the Lord was there upon me. It is the enemy, arise, go forth into the plain, and I will I will be there, I will talk with him. Then I rose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there as the globe which I saw by the river of Kabar at the foot of my face. Then the spirit into me and said the spirit into him, the spirit into him, his his vessel, his temple. And they set me upon my feet and said, Speak with me and said unto me, Go, shut yourself in thy house. She said, Set yourself in your house. But thou, son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them. And thou shall not go out, go out among them. Bands. You know, it said, um, and, uh, St. Joe, he said, uh, This is not the fast that I chose thee to afflict his soul, you know, to pray for the, you know, against all those who are oppressed, you know, to lose the bands of weakness. So the bands are wicked. So that's what the bands, like bands keep you connected. It's like together, linked. So the bands of wickedness is what is keeping people oppressed and beat down spiritually. Spiritual wickedness that's operating through humans. But um, they said, um, they said, I should put bands upon thee and I should bind thee with them, and thou should not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof. So he, he was basically making a people, God will make people to be able not to speak the word of God, and that shall be done, to even understand the word of God, and should not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So the Lord, you know, 
I'm not gonna give you a, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna you know make you learned. I'm gonna make you as if you're unlearned. You're not gonna be able to understand the book because these people, they are a rebellious house. So I'm not gonna allow them to hear the word of God because he already knows the state of these people. He knows if they're gonna receive or not. But when I speak with thee, I will open their mouth. And that's your saying to them, that said the Lord God, he, he that hears, then I'm here. So those who choose to hear the word, they will hear. And he that forbeareth, let them forbear for their rebellious house. Um, let's go to the next one. Let's go to Matthew 12. Matthew 12, verse 38. Is that? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let's go to thirty-four. So, old generation of vipers. So, this is Jesus speaking to the Sadducees, Pharisees. You know, they always wanted to, you know, lie, conspire, slander them, destroy them, crucify them. He said, "Old generation of vipers." So, we are crucified every day. The children of God, slander, mock, conspire against. Old generation of vipers. How can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the, of the heart. Bringing forth good things, and then evil man out of the out of, out of the evil treasure bringing forth evil things. So I make sure you you sowing good blessings instead of cursing people, instead of um, doing evil things. You sowing that's what you will bear. So people will bear what they sow. You will reap if you if you're sowing evil, you will reap evil. If you're sowing good, you will reap good. So um, so and the evil man out of his evil treasure bringing forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, that it shall give an account according. I count them up in the day of judgment. For by the words which which thou shall be justified, by the words thou shall be condemned. So if you read Proverbs 18, 21, no, Deuteronomy 30. I'm going to go there after this, actually. For by the words thou shall be justified. So if every other word that we speak out in our mind, out and open to people, whatever, every other word, whether it's good or evil, you be either justified by it or condemned. So make sure you keep a lid on your mouth. They don't speak evil, ill wills against people, and gossip. So for, for the by the words that should be justified, by the words that should be condemned. And then the certain other scribes at the end of the Pharisees um, answered, saying, Master, we see a sign from thee. We will see a sign from thee. He said, but he answered, he said, and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation. This generation has become adulterous and evil. And said, seek after the sign, there shall no sign be given unto it. So the Lord will not give a sign to those, you know, to the vipers. But they would give a sign to those who love him, who seek his face. Right? So, but a sign of the prophet Jonas. He's saying, I will give you a sign to the prophet Jonas. For Jonas was three days, three nights in a whale's belly. So, should the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth? So, you know, Jonas was, you know, putting the cast and throwing the sea and the fish running up three days because, you know, he kept running for the Lord. God wanted him to speak the word. He wanted him to um, do what he wanted to do. But, but he wanted him, you know, not to, you know, live. I, I, listen, I just got my stuff. I just seen somebody that I know perfect, like personally. <laughs> the enemy did it on purpose. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my gosh! You want me to say a secret? The enemy can really cause a person to meet you at a place. Literally, he he can cause a person to, you know, um, meet you somewhere you thought you was like no one would ever um, come to you. Like, say if you got an enemy. He can cause that person to you know, basically show up in that same place. So, you know, that's one thing I need you guys to know. Um, that's why it's so important to, you know, pray for protection. Ask God to, um, you know, cancel every plan that the enemy. You know, we, we, we cancel it. We nullify every plan. We arrest. We frustrate it in Jesus' name. We arrest and overturn every plan and every program in Jesus' mighty name. So, um, I think that's my last one. Matter of fact, I got one more. So this can um let's see. It said the men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas and you know, behold a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the generation and shall condemn it, this generation. But she came from the utmost other uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Sodom and behold a greater than Sodom is here. With an unclean spirit go remember, with an unclean spirit goeth out of a man, it walketh through dry places, seeking rest. And findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he findeth it swept, he findeth it empty and swept and garnished. Then he goeth and taketh it with, him, with himself. 
seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they shall enter and dwell there, your temple. That means they're, they're going to possess you again and come inside you. You know, be inside you, literally, like the Holy Spirit is within us. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so, should it, so, even so, so should this be also unto this wicked generation. So as this generation is worse, so will these spirits take over this, this generation, and it'll be worse than the previous um, generations than before. Third, second, first. Um, and then one more scripture. Let's go to Matthew 4. Matthew 4. No, Matthew. Matthew 16. Sorry, Matthew 16. Matthew 16, 1 through 4. It says this. The first, he's also with the Sadducees, came and tempting, desiring him that he would shoot him a sign from heaven. So, the Sadducees were very religious. They weren't, they, they, they weren't walking in the spirit. They weren't being spiritual. They were being, you know, religion. Very judgmental. Uh, you know, they were like, man, I don't believe in what you're talking about. All that type of stuff. Which religious people, you know, how they are now, they, they don't believe the spiritual things. So, Jesus was spiritual, not religious. The first year also with the Sadducees came and tempted and desired him that he would shoot him a sign of heaven. They, they basically asked. And he, and, he, and he answered and said unto them, When it is even, you shall, you shall say, It will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be fair weather today for the sky is red and lowering. So, the same thing. This is to let you know. When you see these signs in these days, when you see that sky lowering, when you see red skies, this is a sign. You're gonna have people that see these things, but they won't they won't mind it. They still be going about the same old thing, you know. Drinking, getting married, going to clubs, partying. So they're being deceived by Satan, being um, you know, manipulated to the destruction. Um so it said for the sky's rain and lowering, oh ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky. But can ye not discern the size of the times? So you know like astrologers, stargazers, prog prognosticators, multi prognosticators, these type of people they can predict signs and People next month and what's gonna happen in the person night, but they can't predict the signs of the times of the Lord's coming. So it said, uh, but you can discern the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh out the sign, and that shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And if you look, just another one. It's got Isaiah. Remember, he said you can discern the signs, the, the skies, right? So you go to um, Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47 verses. So, uh, let's go to, let's go to Genesis. Say, for that is trust in our weakness. So, you know, a strategy, that's a, that's an abomination for the Lord. That's a cultism. Being a monkey prognosticator, you know, that's an abomination. Um, being a, a strategy, a monkey prognosticator, and let me see, it's just right here, it says this. And, um, stargazing, stargazing. This is all part of the occult. So, the, the Lord will destroy people that, that's into this. So, but these two things shall come into the end of the moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, but they shall come upon thee in, a, in their perfection, for the multitude of their sources, and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. So you know people that's into zodiac signs, horoscopes, they basically do all these things. It's, uh, which way? Are? So anyone that you know is doing this, stay away from. He said, be 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 not entangled with unbelievers. Stand, you know, bless, first Psalm one, bless are those who you know, who don't stand. Uh, let me see, stand in a way that's scornful. No, stand stand in a way of sinners. Nor sit in a way that's scornful. You don't sit in the table with them, nor do you, you know, you, you abide with the ungodly. You don't walk with the ungodly men. So it says, um, For thou hast trust in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None see me. For thy wisdom and thy knowledge, they have preferred thee. And thou um, has said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. So you know, when people do these things like eating from the tree of evil. You feel like they God because they can see into the future. They can, they can do this, they can do that. So they don't pray to God, these people. So therefore, shall evil come upon thee. And thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and the mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off. So this is God's warning to the wicked. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, even witches and witches, which thou shalt not know. Stand up with thy champions, so with the multitude of thy swords, which one man that has said, one man that has labored from the youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou shalt may as prevail. If thou art weary in the multitude of the councils, let now those such strategies. So this is what he sent to the witch. Yeah, which the, the seek the shadows, stargazing, month prognostic to cut off the righteous, to frustrate their life. Because you know they used against the children of God. Um, so we ignorantly don't know this. We choose not to believe it. So we said now those are shadows and the stargazing, month prognosticators, 
um, stand up and save you from these things that should come upon thee. Behold, this should be a, be a stubble that the fire should burn them. So any witch and wizard that's coming against us, in the name of Jesus, this should be a stubble and the fire should burn them. In the mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. And they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a court of woman, nor a fire that sit before. But they shall, and said, they shall they be into thee. With whom that is they even of merchants, merchants, you know, those that, that are, you know, treasures, gold. You know, even that's abomination to the Lord. A lot of you have, um, uh, what's up, idols. They're idolizing gold and treasure. And said, even our merchants from that youth, they shall wander everyone to his quarter. And I shall say them. So little we do, do we know out of ignorance. These I these this gold, this these idols, this curse, it's a curse. The Lord said not to, you know, allow the accursed thing to be in your house. Do not touch the unclean thing. So a lot of these merchants they are they had there deal with the unclean thing. So um I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do another word, I'm gonna come back and do three scriptures and um so these are about the signs of the times and um the deception of the enemy is really, you know, trying to capture everyone's soul with them so they can, you know, be destroyed with them. So God bless you guys. I love y'all. If anybody wants to do a prayer, you want know, oil, you get your oil, get your water. And this is for anything that may be going wrong. You might be going through some type of panic attacks. You might be going through fear. You might be going through anxiety. Anxiety or some type of, you know, sickness. Yeah, sure. Matthew, we Isaiah 10, 27. It always talks about the yoke. They should be the anointing. So we're going to anoint the oil. I'm going to say, Father Lord, we, we we set this aside as holy and consecrated for your glory, for our healing, for your for your um for your purposes, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We ask you to see the way that you as you sent your angels to trouble the um the Jordan and they troubled it and it was um anointed for healing, for leprosy, sickness, disease. Oh Lord, let this deliver me from any yoke of bondage, whether it's through men, mental, spiritual, or physical. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless this in the name of the Father. Name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, Lord, but release your fire, release your power, release your anointing, release your grace, the grace of God upon my life, into this water. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let this be a supernatural antibiotic um, substance to flush out and dissolve any sickness in my body that has been planted in my body through my spirit and even my blood, like my blood, while I slept. For the, you know, while the enemy slept, the enemy so tars. So for the Lord said, what my father has not planted should be uprooted. So we declare and declare, as we drink the oil, as we drink the water, as we sprung it on ourselves, any evil attachment, any evil spirit that is attached himself to me, oh Lord, that it be dissolved, that it be consumed by fire, in Jesus' name, Lord. Any deposit, any sickness, that it be dissolved, that it be flushed out, in Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Any stranger of sickness and disease, that it be afraid out of the close places, that it go back to the pit of hell, in Jesus' name, Father God. As we sprinkle our car, our, um, drink our water, as we bathe with it, as we cook with it, oh Lord, that our food be blessed, that our bodies become blessed, and that your Holy Spirit into us. In Jesus' name, Lord, as we um, and we we declare and declare in faith, this is the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Lord, as we sprinkle, as we drink, that every arrow that's been shot against us, yeah, by any way she wasn't, and by any monster spirit, let it come, come out of us and go back to the center. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, any spells, hexes, vexes, incantation, enchantment, divination that have been programmed against me or any of my family members, oh Lord, let it be nullified by the blood, by the blood of Jesus Christ. For we said in Hebrews 12, 24, for, um, for the blood of sprinkling, speak of better things than that of Abel. Because the blood of Abel was screaming out evil judgment and death against Cain. So we declare the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking healing, protection, favor, and guidance, miracles, testimonies for me and my family. In Jesus' name. And according to Re Revelation 12, 24, for they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the blood of the So we decree, we decree, we declare, we overcome every plan of the enemy, every plan, every scene, every put, every assignment, every spell, every force, every dark, every principality, every whatever it may be. We come against all which cover attacks. For we decree and declare Isaiah 54, 17. So we're, we're speaking into this as we speak, as we pray, we're speaking this into this. So um, we decree that no weapon fast phone against your problems, but every tongue that rises up against us in evil, slander, mockery, witchcraft, um, accusations. We get them and they condemn as we drink, as we apply the oil, as we mix our water, the oil with the water, it is condemned and nullified in Jesus' name. And the judgment of God is upon it in Jesus' name. Lord, as we drink and apply the oil, as we drink, sip it, sprinkle it, that every cobweb attack, every witchcraft attack, let it be dissolved in Jesus' name. And that every mind torment, mind torment and demon consume into ashes and go back to the bitter hell. Any spirit spouse, real husband that is hiding in the body, 
that wants to stay married to us. Oh Lord, as you drink, as we apply, let them be the, let them be dissolved, let them be consumed by fire by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So God bless you guys. That's all I got for you guys, and I'm gonna do what we can do. So whatever you tell the oil, your water, will do, whatever you tell your water or oil, this is what it will do. So remember that. God bless you guys. Peace.